Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video, and in this video I'm going to quickly talk about the recent news about Pimbina pipeline which caused the stock to jump almost 3% yesterday, even when the whole market was in a downturn due to the Russia-Ukraine situation. I recently made a stock analysis video about Pembina and discussed why they are in a fair value territory and if you want to see the details of that analysis, I will leave a link to that video in the description box of this video. In summary, Pembina Pipeline is a Canadian energy transportation and midstream service provider and their business has three divisions. Pipeline division, which is the main business, facilities division and a small subdivision, which they call it marketing and news, new ventures. They own 18,000 kilometer pipelines that transport oil and natural gas primarily in Western Canada, British Columbia and Alberta, as you can see in this graph. They also own gas processing facilities and oil and natural gas liquids logistic businesses in various parts of Alberta, British Columbia and even in the north of the United States. The news that came out yesterday was about the processing facilities of the business as Pembina will merge their natural gas processing assets with KKR to come up with a new venture called NUCO, in which Pembina will have 60% of the ownership and act as the operator and asset manager, and KKR will only have 40% of the ownership. You all know that the natural gas prices are skyrocketing due to the conflict in Ukraine, and this merger will help Pembina to increase their processing capacity by almost 2.5 times, and as a result, their earnings by almost 3 times from this section of the business. This merger has three positive impacts on Pembina business. First, they will receive cash, which they will be used to reduce the debt and share buybacks. Second, their operating cash flow is expected to increase between 5 to 9% in the next five years, which is great for the business and probably we can expect continued share buybacks and dividend increases in this time frame. And finally, they will immediately increase the dividend by 3.6% upon closing the deal with KKR, which is amazing. Congrats to Pembina shareholders, including myself, as these are all great news for us. There you are, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel to see similar videos about various stocks and companies, particularly Canadian stocks. Thank you for watching, and I see you in the next video. Farewell.